What's up, Power Fan? Welcome back to a new Let's Play series, Man of Mendan, taking the place of Until Dawn. All right. After we finish that, at least. Uh, but anyway, yeah. Welcome to Man of Mendan. Uh, from the uh, Dark Pictures anthology, the first game of the uh, of season one of it, technically. There's uh, four games in the first season. There, right now, they're making the first game of the second season. Uh, which takes place in space and stuff, so that's going to be kind of cool when we get there. But we got a long ways to go before then. So, yeah, we're well, here watching uh, Man of Medan. Or watching, playing Man of Medan. It's kind of like a movie, I guess, with choices you make. I don't know. Uh, there is a choice that you could play with other people, but I think I'm just going to do it solo. I mean... Because you get the full story that way. If you play with other people, you only play see aspects of the story. So, I want to see everything. So, yeah. Uh, looks like they kind of takes the same stuff as Until Dawn. There's a guy you talk to, it looks like. Uh, probably the story and stuff. Uh, but, yeah. Um, I know this takes place on a ship. So, I've... I've don't really know what to expect too much of this. Uh, Got to scroll all the way down. A lot of stuff. I hate these things. Like nobody reads these, so I don't even know why that they do this. Oh, brother! All right. Uh, brightness. Ooh. 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 All right now, what does this do? Uh, yeah, that's good enough. Don't, don't play alone. Play with your friends. Oh, I don't want to play alone. The anthology. View other games. See, these are all the other games that's in the series. Uh, we have Man of a Dan. The Man of a Dan. Five friends that sail on a holiday diving trip that soon changes into something much more sinister. It's five. You don't have seven or eight people. You only have five. Cool. Uh, little help. Uh, you have four in that one. And then there's House of Ashes and then the Devil in Me. And then there's uh, the next one, which is... I, I don't remember what protocol or something, I think. I don't, don't remember. Uh... Ah, H.H. H. Holmes, the Myrtle Castle. Neat. Can't wait for that. High Haunted. Iraq War. Oh, okay. Four college students. Huh. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. So there's a lot... to mess with their uh, settings. Let's go ahead and turn the music all the way off. We don't want the music, don't want no copyright infringements going on on that. So let's just uh, turn that all the way off. No music. Subtitles on, text, English, audio, English, dialogue, everything else, home cinema. Yeah, whatever. Okay, uh, sure. Accessibility. We're good there. Everything's good. We're good. Collections? Oh, I just gotta, like, check everything on this main menu. I don't know. Secrets and pictures. Okay, so it looks like there's just stuff that you can get. What's this? Apparently there's a lot of stuff. Oh, okay. I don't know. Why was that a thing? Alright, so yeah. So let's go ahead and uh, start to embark on your own single player story. Let's go ahead and see who we can have survive uh, five people hopefully they all survive hopefully no one dies 
But knowing my luck, somebody will die. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, let's just see what kind of ending we get. Uh, here we go. I'm actually excited about this. What in the world? Okay, continue. Load scene selection. How many scenes is there? There's no scene. I get, yeah, yeah, just start. The skills will be tested. Survival is expected. Forgiving me, death is inevitable. Survival is expected. So if that means if I like miss a quick event, they won't die from it or something, or do I not have quick events? Am I just walking around and seeing the story? I mean, the skills will be tested. Does that mean that there will be quick events and stuff? I don't want quick events. I hate quick events. Someone always dies every time. I always hit the wrong button. But, what's a game without a challenge, right? I don't want to just have everything handed to me. Nah. Nah. Let's, uh, let's just do the challenging. I don't know why I did that, but okay. But yeah, I'm excited about this uh, game. Uh, <clears throat> Until Dawn was actually pretty fun uh, game to play. We only had, I think, five people survive in that. Four, four, four people. Yeah, I forgot Sam died at the end. Because the game jipped me of that. But, but yeah, we are now, hopefully, don't have that thing where it's like, don't move. I hate that. I hated that. I hated that stuff so much. Oh, here we go. Man of my dan. Nice ship. A lot of crates everywhere. The army people. Looks like a coffin. Looks like they got some uh, some some dead people on the ship, or dead soldiers, I guess, going on the ship. Probably going back to their families. Looks like four four dead people. Joe, Dockside Market, post World War II. Those must be after they won the won the war, or at least I hope they're American. All righty, Buster, we better mosey on back to the ship. <coughs> Whoa! Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. You know what, Oma? Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. Why? I'm gonna find out my future. <laughs> find out your future. Let's have it. What's in store for me, Pop? You do it, Jay. You're even, Ma. Oh, I already gotta make a choice. Uh. I don't know. Oh. Uh, I guess I just want to know about my son. Will he, uh... Is he going to grow up all right? Things going to work out for him? Huh, dragon tile. Can <sighs> So press R two. 
Alright, and use this to examine. Oh, there we go. Looks like a fish? Yep. Yeah. Death? Wait, what? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? Hey, bud, let me get a go at it. Oh yeah? You think you got the stuff? Fight? Sure. Let me know the quarter. I'm gonna start a tab. I'll give it a whirl. Can't touch me. I <laughs> think she's just she's like, oh. Thank you for coming. Have a nice day. They got faster. Hey, Chuck. We better. There was no way you were gonna win that. We don't want to get stranded. You were either gonna get a hit or something. We really need to get back. Reckless. Oh, brother. I don't like these traits. What is that? Oh, it's got a skull and stuff on it. I don't like that. Death. They're totally taking their time to go down, ain't it? US 01028984C276 or 7A, I'm guessing, I don't know. Something like that. Looks like it's all the same. What is there? Three of those boxes? What in the world? in the world why what possessed there was no reason to come over and punch the guy oh fun Lightning hit, whatever that is. Oh, fun, it's leaking. Into the water.
Oh, that's fun. Don't know what that's about, but sure. I'm drunk. What do you mean, do I know who this is? Do I know who what is? Sick Bay, 1.36 a.m., June 22nd. Increase the sedation. Explore the ship, find a way out of the sick bay. Okay. It looks like a boy. Is, is it my kid? Two pops, come back soon. Yeah, that must be my, my kid. My kid. Okay, there's the walk. Nope. Oh, we gotta look around. Oh, this is kind of a walk. This is wonky. What the hell? Someone killed him. Uh, sure thing, buddy. I'll take the key. Can I take the 50 cents, too? <laughs> Apparently I owe a guy 50 cents. Looks like, I don't know, did he just bleed out or something? I don't know, something like that. There's not even a wound on him, so I don't know. This is crazy. Why is it so wonky to walk? Uh, oh, oh, okay, here we go. Uh-huh. Anything in there? No, nope, can't go that way, so. Man. I don't get why. Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? Just get me out of here already. What the hell's going on up there? I heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a... a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's gunfire. wrong. Let's get out of here. Something's wrong. Yeah, you know what's wrong? Everything. Uh, okay, what's this? Uh... Oh, okay. John Coleman Forrest, Sergeant. And the Private Ch Charles Anderson on leave from duty did display intoxication in the manner of not becoming a, of a member of the U.S. Army. However, Anderson was engaging with another soldier in a drunken argument. It is the opinion of the arresting officer that this would lead to a public brawl, and steps were taken to ensure that both men were returned to the ship. So that's why you punched the guy. Because he thought it was going to turn into a brawl? Brig, 10 days approved. Oh, bro. Oh, brother. He's supposed to... He's supposed to... Really, he's supposed to stay there for 10 days in there? Because he went out and ha had a blast with his friend? And got a little drunk? Whatever. Why is there blood on there? What did you do? Did you kill somebody in here? I don't know, what's this? Oh... What in the world? Huh? Brig, Arthur Miller, Monday, petty, th petty theft, one day brig, small items belonging to senior officer found in Miller's locker, items recovered and returned to owner, Wednesday, David uh, David Davis, trespass two days brig, found off limits in cargo hold 3A with no reason to be there, bank with disregard for orders, Friday, 
Lewis or public <laughs> Lewis Brand. Uh, public intoxication one day Brig found drunk and acted inappropriately for US Army personnel while on shore leave. Robert Reed, public intoxication one day Brig found drunk and acted inappropriately for US Army personnel while on shore leave. Charles Anderson <clears throat> Charles Anderson, public intoxication, brawling, ten day brawling, they didn't even brawl. He just asked where his fifty cents were and pushed him. Oh, it's not a brawl. They didn't throw a single punch. Public intoxication, intoxication, rather than today's break, found drunk and acted inappropriate for U.S. Army personnel while on short leave. Joseph Roberts, public intoxication, brawl in 10 days. <laughs> oh, gosh. Ray found drunk and acted inappropriate for U.S. Army personnel while on short leave. Signed to sick bay for medical treatment prior to internment. No, prior to the guy punching him for no damn reason. That's not what I said to do. I saw something shine right here. Hold on, I can't. I can't get in that. Well, that's stupid. Why do they even have that an option if you can't even actually get in it? Uh huh. Is this guy sh shooting? Someone shooting at something? Oh. This is crazy. Oh, I gotta even load his gun. Oh, look at that. That was just creepy. I can't go that way. What's the point of this? Alright. And there was nothing over there. Okay. Uh. Uh, okay. Oh, okay, that was stuck right there. Uh, what was that? What was that? <clears throat> Starting to see things here, buddy. Hey, Charlie, help. Oh, I didn't know that was actually a door I needed to go through. Well, I wasn't done. No, I wanted to go look over there. There was probably nothing over there anyway. Hope not, at least. I just thought that he, since he went over, the other guy went over there. I thought that's where I needed to go. But apparently not. God damn! Another stick? Oh, damn it, Buckley! Last <laughs> Buckley. Time I saw him in the mess hall. He was fit as a fiddle. Poor fucker. It looks like he like got all twisted around. I don't know what the heck happened to him. Eyes in the back of his head and everything. Wow, 
I don't know where they expect to go. They're in the middle of the ocean. What was that? I don't like breathing. What's this way? <laughs> Probably like something I can't even go in, yeah. It's just about every, anything here. It's like they have a choice for you to turn the door handle and stuff, but it doesn't do anything. Do, 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 do. Hey, Chuck? You see that kid over there? Uh, no. You feeling all right? Nah, I don't know, man. <clears throat> See if we're losing their dang minds. Guys Charlie, going around get over here. punching people for no reason and stuff. Looks like they all shot each other. Something. This is like stuff, it's like fog and stuff everywhere. Oh God, no, Charlie! All right, Charlie died. He was just... I don't, I'm not gonna shoot. Because what if that's actually Charlie? I didn't really even get, I couldn't even get over there fast enough anyway. Mayday! Mayday! Is anyone there? Hello! Can anyone out there hear me? Oh, come on! Come on, damn it! Uh-huh. So everyone died on that ship. I mean, I don't think it really mattered what happened. Even if I shot the kid and it did turn out to be Charlie, because I, I think he was just hallucinating or something. Because I don't know how Charlie would be in there dead. So, I don't And I really, 
really, really don't think that, uh, what in the world? But I really don't think that, uh, any, no matter what you did, you were gonna live. Even if you shot Charlie, yeah, or even if you shot that kid, it turned out to be Charlie, you still might have had a, like a heart attack or something, or shot yourself or whatever. I think Joe, I think he, that was a scripted death, no matter what. That's why I didn't take the shot, mostly. And plus I, I kind of thought it might have been Charlie. This guy's just walking down a creepy hallway. I mean, I like the music. I thought I had the music turned off. But. Creepy. Hello. Hello. And welcome to my repository. Got that thing so close to you, dude. Creepy. I am the curator, the curator of stories, stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death, stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass. And we have to live with those decisions or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived, and it comes, eventually, to everybody. Still, none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? No. As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions, or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. That's all for the moment. We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken, or whatever mess you've made. Alyssa, you might be the curator of stories, but I don't make messes. I fix them. Or clean them up. However <laughs> you want to say it. Hey, look, it's the picture. Duke of Millen. Brad. Brad. My name is Brad. Brad. Witty Brad, Alex's brother, innocent. Who's Alex? Brad. 
Alex. Oh, that's Alex. Brad's brother. Julia. Julia's boyfriend. Insecure. He's insecure, really. Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water. Diving. Well, maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's... It's what? It's embarrassing taking them by yourself. It's embarrassing you came all the way out here expecting me to hold your hand. <laughs> Whoa, careful. That dive cam is, like, super expensive. Look, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. I'm not good with people. Dude, you know I'm not, like, the best around new people. Whatever. Just shut up. You gotta loosen up. Oh, come on. Just say yeah to everything on this trip. Wait. Trust me. I want you to have a good time. Okay, well, what if somebody asked me to do something stupid, like run around naked or something? Metaphorically. Just go with it. All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... When you medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing with Julia, it's been rough. Yeah, I gotcha. Must be tough. Must be tough. No worries, man. Huh? It doesn't give you the right to be a yes. dick, but sure. Right on, Q. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah, I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Innocent. Yeah, he's innocent. Hey. So, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? Just, uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? How to know what's the right thing to do. Uh, well, go with your gut. Go with your gut. If it's right, you'll know. Hey! Julia, Conrad's sister, Alex's girlfriend. Reckless. Conrad, Julia's brother. Relax, full heart. Okay. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey, what's up, man? Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley, I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Hey, man. Want to crack a cold one with me? Every second. Huh. Uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with you. Uh, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah cool. <laughs> Tight. Uh, I, I love beer. Relaxed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ain't relaxed, that's for sure. Right on, Radical. I like the cut of your ship. It's jib. Don't ruin it. You ever do any diving before? Should I lie? I'm just... Nah. No, actually. Never done it before. Might as well be truthful. Nice. Hey, we're gonna pop your cherry. Together. Insecure. Uh, <laughs> Made him insecure. Oh, brother. <laughs> Where's the old crust bucket skipper, anyhow? Impatient Fliss, captain of the Duke of Millen. I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? Uh, you're 
selling, I'm buying. Oh. What was that? I, I tell you, these people are like. It's got something antsy up there, we're in. That's it, get it all out. Uh, yeah. You uh, want to go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Little boy. What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Brad did his homework. If he says the wreck's here, it's here. Okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? Eager. <laughs> God. Feast your eyes on this. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, the kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Bliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, it looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, yeah, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Uh, disappointed. Ah, uh, no, he's... Look, for all anyone knows, we were just diving and then found it. So who cares? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine. As long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? Selfish. Oh, look at this. I did not mean to make him selfish. Ready but... to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera, see if you can find anything useful. Righto. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. Oh, am I actually finally able to do something? Nice. Ain't nothing out here for miles. What's this? There's a little gap in the tail. Take a look. Uh huh. Sure. Nice. It does look like an old World War II plane, ship, uh, not ship, but plane. Nice. Hey, hey. Hey, sweetie. I don't. Oh, I think I have to check on Brad. I think that's literally a thing I gotta do. Almost got the gear good to go. Thanks. Uh, you need a hand? Need an extra hand? Never used a rebreather before. I think we're in good shape. It's probably not a bad idea for you to have a clue how these things work. Gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. Ah, uh, just. Yeah, I know. 
Let's just play cool for now. Cool? Why? There's no point in antagonizing her. If she tries to keep me from doing this dive one more time, that's it. Gloves off. That's fair. Just don't force her hand. All right. I'm going to get these rebreathers set up, and then we'll go through the final steps together. Yeah, we don't want her to just kind of go behind our backs and call it in. Eager. I'm sitting here literally looking at someone's driver's license. Uh, 10383 birth diver number. Birthday. That's your diver number? <laughs> diver number. Birthday. Oh, okay, I see. I see how it is. They have it. Okay, so no. 9146FW is our diver number. 58 height. Okay, brown is eye color. Okay, and my birthday is 10 3. Okay, I see you after they did that. Okay. I literally thought it was like side to side, but they literally have it top. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. All right, I did find the reels. All the rest of the classes that is. Dive master. I just fired 31. Cool. Anything else? Oh, sure. Doesn't look kosher. Why are you looking at some driver's license anyway? Learn, learning somebody's. Hi. You know we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. Uh, well. Sorry about earlier. Uh, yeah, sorry about before. Everybody's just a little... We've been planning this whole thing for a while now. I get it. But there are rules and laws and customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? Uh, huh. I've had a couple wrecks over the years. I'm an expert, but, you know, experienced. If this is your first unreported wreck, then you should know there's a very specific protocol you have to follow. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. <laughs> Who's gonna know? Brilliant. I don't want to be brilliant. Fine. I get it. How much? How much what? How much money will it take for you to stop breathing down her necks? You... Hey guys. This is not ready. about the money. Tanks a lot. You know what? I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. Or like a fake control that you got? Let's see. Oh, looks like we got some. You know how to use that? Uh, no, not really. You might want to just let it do its thing. Well, there's supposed to be thunderstorms tonight. Huh. What am I looking at here? Premonition unlocked. High and dry. I found a premonition. I did it. What? The controls are so wonky on this thing. It's not even what I told him to do. I'm literally just. Oh, Jesus. What is going on at these controls? I cannot get over here to this corner. Control is so wonky. Okay, there we go. I don't know what's in there. I don't know what's in there. Anything in here? <laughs> no. Shroud of. Sure Julia left anything on the mainland. Shroud of innocence. What? What is this? 
only smelled as good as it cost. Really? She has Hartley. He must read for anyone with an interest in this solemn rich trials of 1692. Shroud of Innocence. Is this an actual book? It's like a, like a real book in, actual, in real life. Looks kind of neat though. Not gonna lie. They wanted to detail over a book on the end of the game. I mean, that has to be like a, I don't know an actual book or something. Cause what would the which sound rich trials have to do with this game? Uh, I don't know which one to go actually look into. Okay, there ain't nothing there. So I guess this one. What's up? How you doing? It's the last place to really go. Sorry, that brewski got the better of me. Eh, don't worry about it. Hey, all part of the adventure. Sorry for putting a damper on things. No worries, dude. Take more than that just to screw up the trip. Just get some rest. Come back when you're feeling better. Yeah, yeah, you know. Can I go in here now? No. Relaxed. Relaxed. Relaxed my rear end. He ain't relaxed. Alright, now let's go back up. Ain't nothing else in there I can do. I talk to you again? No. I talk to you. If I can talk to you again. But let me uh, take another look here at the binoculars. Just to kind of check some things out. See if. Yeah, see if anything else changed, you know? Oh, that's weird. No, nope, nothing's changed. It's all an empty ocean. All right, well, let's go ahead and. Okay, so this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way out. State of the art. Okay. O2 check done. Whoa, 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 eager beaver. You gotta check your O2 first. Thanks for sending me straight. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. You behave, Connie? You just... It's kind of crazy. Uh, what should I take? I don't know. This is. Does it matter? I, mean, I guess I'll take this thing. All right, kids. I got the bank stick. Good to go. Yeah, I heard that about you. Just uh -huh. remember the rules. You ever have to use one? On a shark? Nope. Uh, I don't know. You're on camera. I'll take the wheels. Let's get a before photo. Eager. A P4 photo. Yeah, take a P4 photo. And in we go. Whoa, you good? More or less. Yeah, uh, there's sharks down here. She bet Fliss is so tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> it's not like they can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. Damn. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. The tail end. 6.15 p.m. You fancy a pint with your second in command? 
You are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Fresh in your cabin, boy. Still a no. Your well-paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. I'd be relaxed about it. Sure. Why not? Just kind of be chill. You have fake credentials, so be chill. Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? Uh. <laughs> I don't you know answer. it's not polite to ask a lady about her money. Fair enough. <laughs> I was just thinking about buying a boat myself, and I thought maybe you'd like to point me in the right direction. It would be my singular pleasure to help you part with your money. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan shipshape. Aye, aye. Relaxed. Actually, before I mess with that, I wanna, you know, kinda chillax. They're down there. What's this? Wow, that is not your everyday wreck. I hope those clowns don't get me in trouble. I should be able to see them. That'd be kind of dope. Anyway. Uh. It's not even what I clicked on anyway. Because there's something here, but I can't. Duke to Alex. Duke to Julia. Okay. Guess I can't hear a single thing they're saying. So. Uh. No. That thing's still buoy still there. Anything else over here? Okay. Hey there. How's it hanging? Uh. You look like you're taking full advantage of your relaxation time. I'm a man of many talents. Too bad charm isn't among them. It's too bad charm is not among them. Ah, but my charm is like a boomerang. You think it's gone right over your head until smack. You're out cold. That makes no sense. <laughs> I have to keep track of the dive. I have to keep track of the dive, but I'd be happy to continue this conversation later when I can give you my full attention. <laughs> I, just, just chatting it up, you and I, in the old conversational intercourse. <laughs> did I? Oh my God! God that's such a point of oh my gosh! Did I really just well, let? Hello the... there, Captain. Can I do something for you? I can think of a few things. <laughs> do tell. Um, maybe later, if you stay on my good side. Oh my gosh! Why did I even do that? I don't even know why I did that. Uh, can I go down the stairs? Is this something different now? Nah. <sighs> what was that? See, I knew there's something. Uh, tell the I don't even know what the heck that is. It says 15 August 2019. Uh, account number, dear Miss Dubas, this letter is a warm enough notification that you are in default of your obligation to make regular payments on your personal loan. The loan holds a reminder of 24000 and for some of 3000 payable. August 1st, jeez. 
and that has been overdue since that date, and you appear to have ignored multiple requests for payments or a discussion regarding your debt. Unless the outstanding amount is received by August 30, 2009, we have no choice but to begin to foreclosure process against your collateral, namely the marine vessel, the Duke of Milan. Uh, please act accordingly or certainly charge Syrian senior account manager. Geez, you owe a lot of money, huh? Dive trip 5,000, hotel tours 2,400, Eddie's fishing trip 500, sell laptop 600, total for month 8,500, call bank, cancel sell. Uh, and 3,000 of it is due, oh, okay. Okay. You owe a lot of money. Aha! What's this? Is this another premonition? Ah, oh, it is! Oh, brother. Hey, Fliss! Look, there's a boat. What's that about? That is not the Coast Guard. So we're not under arrest. How should we handle this? <sighs> uh, we are not doing anything. I'm the captain, so you be quiet and let me handle it. You got that? I wasn't, I didn't even do anything. I was looking around. I just happened to see it. Guys, you gotta keep back. We've got divers in the water. Hey, we got damage here. You see this? Look at our boat. We can take care of this, man. It's not a problem. What do you think? Like, uh, ten bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it twenty. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like thirty? I can do thirty. All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. Why would you do that? I told you to let me take care of it, Conrad. You dumbass. I don't even know why I didn't even do anything. Like, I just looked at the premonition, and next thing I know, there comes a boat. I didn't know the premonition was going to be the next key I needed to actually find to move on. But whatever. Maybe it was just like a time thing. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad, really? Really. The rear turret. Huh. Good on you, Connie. The turret. We can get in through there. Dangerous. Uh, ladies first. Uh, explore the praying rock. Return to the surface. Okay, just take a second to say, "Holy shit, Alex, we did it!" I mean, can you believe it? It's a dream come true. <laughs> Let's not waste any time not exploring. Go, go, go! Julia, leave it. You don't have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Ah, level, level. Don't be such a gonad. I'll be fine. Gonad? Seriously? 
Am I dead? What's happening? Is this a little edgelord? Courageous. Hello. Kind of got me a little bit. I just saw something slimy and stuff. I was fine. Chill out. I'm fine, see? No problemo. Uh, search in progress. Search area one clear. Search area two clear. Search area three clear. This says it was a rescue plane. Air rescue. Search if you have a search mask, you have grab that air. Plane aircraft identification. Oh, Owaski. Take off US You can read all that. It's been like water, severely water damaged and stuff. Text is screwed, so you don't even know the. Huh. They were on their way to help out a ship. <laughs> yeah. Help out a ship, alright. That's what you call it. More trying to find a ship. It's an eel. I think I went my wetsuit. Life gives you lemons. <sighs> Pilot and co pilot. Gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. Well, yeah, they probably. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, Julia! Oh my God! Just don't touch anything else, please. Good God. This is what was out here before. I just couldn't. Ugh. 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 Something, something. What is this? Hey, he was dying, suffocating, so he opened it. Why he was dying? Huh. Wow. What the hell happened here? A little look at things. They knew they were goners. Yeah. They knew. Shark. 
not interested in us. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Thought this was the right time, but then didn't know if it was the right time. But I guess no time's the right time. I, I, I don't I guess. Oh. I know you can't tell. How's that? Water, but I'm on my knees right now. Uh-huh. Julia, will you marry me? Why wouldn't she? I mean, I think they've had some good. Wait, Julia, we gotta decompress here. Whoa! Damn! What the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait, we have to decompress. Taking too long. It's taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. Well, I mean, because if you don't, go, it, go. it could be very, very, very dangerous if you don't decompress. Hey, what the hell is going on? What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. There was a little uh, mishap with the barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. So, why are you paying the ocean? A group of fishermen came by and damaged their boat. Well, they got caught on the dive line. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah. So then uh, Ambassador Conrad figured the best move is to show him he'd rather throw away his money than give it to them. You're an asshole. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane. And it is huge. Full of cool stuff. Oh my god, you guys. Can you all just shut up for like one second? Holy shit! Dude, bro, congrats! Nicely done. Come up and let's celebrate. Oh, brother. Let's see how bad was my choices. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish. Uh-huh. Both seem out of their depth. Uh-huh. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. And he, the love of hers. Yep. What about Conrad? A bold fellow, you might say. Nah. Uh. Or maybe you'd say arrogant. Arrogant, yeah. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, Forthright, stubborn. Mm -hmm. Definitely stubborn. Do I detect a spark between her and Conrad? No. Let me reassure you. You help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well. Am I? I'm just choosing what I think is the right third place to go. It's kind of going off the personalities in a way. I know she's not really interested in card red, so, so I'm not going to force that upon her. Out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain, I mean, that's relevant. And this meatball... <laughs> meatball? This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? A lady never tells. Well, needless to say, this lady was impressed. Yeah, well played there, man, no? Wasn't Conrad going to get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? 
Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. So, how does it feel to soon be known as the Mrs. Julia Smith? Uh, it does have a nice ring. I wasn't sure how it would feel, but now that I hear it, it does have a nice ring. So, I guess we should talk about wedding plans. Eventually. I was plan it together. Now you're speaking my language. I'm taking lessons. Yeah, I can't wait for us to plan everything together. I was so worried you might say no. Of course I was going to say yes, you dimwit. <laughs> I'm happy you did. <laughs> yeah, of course. Why not? Second you said yes, I could see our whole future rolling Okay, you're getting like going this. a little too far, man. Trying to figure out for which approach I wanted, if I wanted to be really playful about it. There was much celebration to be had. I'll go find them. You just relax. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. That was you great. Can't around like that, Julia. Sure, I can. Oh, that yeah, was funny. Cares. I was just getting him now. That was actually funny. I had to do that. That was funny. All right. Now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Search for the nav pad. Okay, so I gotta find the nav pad. Why, I can't look at the pictures that were taken? Well. Oh. There we go. Nice. Nice. Hey, rescue service. Carnarvon Island. Nice. <laughs> Oof. What's that? Alright. Nice. So... All right. So I think that's where I'm going to end this episode for now. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And stay tuned for more Madame Madame to come. Uh, yeah, it's so far a blast. Haven't even got to the ship yet, but uh, been trying to. We're going to get there eventually. Bye uh, in the next episode. But yeah, stay tuned for more. And uh, remember, fam, <laughs> we've got the power.